and welcome to Dean Forest Gardening. I'm Shannon and this is my home allotment. Please follow along for the adventure. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a couple of days, I am sorry about that. We've got a lot to catch up on. So I've gone to Lidl, I've got the multi-purpose compost. They had these big massive bags, 40 litres for 3 49 So I thought, right, I'll just grab four bags, perfect. So I've got them over there on a the storage unit, ready to go. Um, so a plan of action today, I'm going to weed the top garden as much as I can, go down and weed the bottom garden as much as I can, fill at least two bags worth into the raised planters, and then hopefully plant some of the plants that I've got. <coughs> the garden is looking a bit of a mess. But yesterday, I had a beautiful day. I went and see my friend Ellie, and we went to a local garden centre. I did get a couple of things. So they had on offer, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, this blue scent lavender, um, free for £10. I thought that was a pretty good deal. They're quite nice established plants. So I've got three of those for £10. And then they also had quite... Um, a lot of different roses and I really wanted some scented roses for the garden and also I really want one to climb over the front gar um, the front door. Um, obviously I'm not going to show you my front door but I'll show you everything in the back garden. Um, this one here it's called Just Joey. It's a hybrid um, tea rose. It basically says on the little label there's so many different ones to choose from but i went with this one because it says a beautiful orange or perhaps copper description with pronounced the veins of red whatever that means i'm guessing really nice coral looking plant and it has like yeah you can actually see it veins of red in it um a large flower and hybrid rose um what does it say intense fragrance i basically i just wanted some roses a little bit different to the one i've already got it's like that beautiful like pinky red rose but i just wanted to smell really nice and this one you could smell it from the other side of the garden center it's absolutely gorgeous um it does well you can already see it's got the little um dots on the leaves so apparently i think people say it's like a fungal disease was in the soil um, but it doesn't really well, just chop those leaves off and hope that it's all right. Um, but yeah, it's got some lovely colouring, some different types of coloured leaves, and just the flowers are stunning. Um, I, I did a bit of googling and it wasn't in the climbing rose area, but apparently, this one is it could be a climbing rose. So, I'm going to plant it in the corner over there because we've got like the barbecue area here, but it's kind of a dumping ground at the moment. But I'm thinking, plant that in the corner and then it can just do whatever it wants. If I think it might be beneficial to put a little climbing frame next to it, just to like grow at the wall, I think, yeah, that looks stunning, or just leave it how the other one is at the moment. The lavender needs to be in full sun and obviously I've got three plants and I was thinking maybe one next to the rose over there but because it needs to be in full sun I'm thinking this gets sun all day long I'm probably going to plant one there one in the gap there and one in the gap over there and um, we should have some beautiful flowers and some really nice fragrance in the top of the garden <laughs>
I'm back. It's day two. These bloody birds are digging these up all the time. Obviously, they like the snails in there. So, um, yeah, probably doesn't help that the slugs are in there. Right.